Hello, today I'm going to be talking about the auto flyer. Now the auto flyer is the device that moves the yarn guide hooks automatically on your flyer so you don't have to stop spinning to move the hooks. The only version I know of that's actually shipping in the real world today of this is called the Woolly Winder. Now there's several downsides to the Woolly Winder. Um, two of the big ones are that it's expensive to manufacture. At least I haven't, I've looked into it and I can't find a, a fairly inexpensive way to do their auto reversing threads, which is sort of the, the crux of their solution. Um, so it's, it's expensive. And also their solution sort of at a fundamental level adds tension to the yarn that you're spinning. So if you're spinning really thin singles, then their solution um, could break those singles. And I know a lot of people spin really thin singles on the electric eel wheel. So I wanted to see if I could work on a new solution that avoids those problems. And I've probably gone through like 10 or more prototypes by this time. Um, and I keep changing things. And now I think I've finally gotten to a point where I've got a prototype that feels like it's working good enough that I can sort of take it to the next level and try to make a, a version that you can spin with. And you can see right now there's wires all over the place and uh, this one's actually you know not going to be able to sp use it to spin. But it's proven enough of the theories for me that uh, I feel like I can probably now you know go to the next level and use one to actually spin. And designing that next prototype will take a lot of time as well. But uh, at this stage, I'm feeling fairly confident that, uh, you know, this, the, the way I'm designing this one uh, will enable what uh, I'm sort of looking for. And that's a uh, lower cost than the Willy Winder and something that doesn't add the, the tension to the singles. Uh, it also has several other advantages that I'll, I'll probably talk about in the future, but those are the two biggest ones, so that's what I'm uh, talking about in this short video. So let me show you its operation. Okay, so I'm going to show you how this works now. Obviously, as I said, this is a very rough prototype. I just wanted to have some electronics here. I put a lot of extra batteries in um, to figure out how many I needed. So all that's going to um, get nice and updated. I'm going to make sure that the system is nice and balanced and everything's enclosed here. So um, lots of uh, structural things to do in the next prototype. But basically the way it works is um, this piece you have to imagine will have a hook. And I know how to do that because I actually have plastic with a hook in it uh, for the uh, electric eel wheel 5.2. There's a, a method of doing that with injection molding. Um, and then basically um, when you turn uh, you can either run it manually if you want, and you just turn this end thing to sort of adjust where your hooks go. Um, or there's a motor down there, and that's sort of the part that makes it auto. So I think even without um, the motor running, it's kind of cool how you move the, the hooks in this. It actually works really nicely. I've, I've made a version of that that I could test a little bit, and it was pretty impressive. But um, today we're focusing on the automated version. And uh, to do that, I just clip this here and this version is running much faster than a version would in the real world and it's just showing you that you know it can kind of go and then when it reaches the end it senses the end and then it changes direction so that's sort of the fundamentals there um, wh when I actually have it going in the real world it'll probably just move a half an inch every you know 30 seconds or or whatever we find is a a good amount of time i mean all of that's controllable because i'm using this programmed microcontroller here to control the speeds and uh, the delays and everything so you've got a lot more flexibility with this than you would with you know a purely geared mechanical system i hope people found this interesting and if you guys have any suggestions on ways to make it better or whatnot um just let me know Thanks for watching.